Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is the full review of the Kaiser Roach. Now, the Kaiser Roach has been around for a little while. Not this version, but they had a titanium frame lock version and a G10 version. This is the new micarta version. And let me say, some of the nicest micarta ever. I love this micarta. First off, shout out to Mojave Outdoors. You can get all your Kaisers at Mojave Outdoors and use my 10% discount code Neves Knives. All the links are in the description. I want to thank them for this knife because I love it. I love this knife. This knife is awesome. It is a big boy, but it's awesome. Let's look, let's look at this uh, micarta really quick because it's USA micarta. The fibers are nice and even the way I like my, my my carta. Now, there's so many different versions of my carta. There's the really dense stuff, the slick stuff, the textured stuff. This is the really furry, um, soft. It almost feels like you're you're rubbing um, fabric. I mean, it's just so soft and so fuzzy and furry. I love it. This is I love this kind of my carta. Now, I like a lot of different kinds of my carta, but possibly my favorite is the nice fuzzy stuff the stuff where you can really feel the texture of it and some people don't like the the way um like because there's different kinds of my car some people like the stuff that doesn't absorb the oils some people love the stuff that absorbs the oils the stuff that absorbs the oils like this does get darker so they have two different versions they have the green micarta which is like this and then the black micarta now the black micarta will turn black over time it looks gray at first and then this one will start turning darker green over time now i did clean this up a little bit i really like how it has the darker areas and the lighter areas but it's you know it is easy to clean up you can just wash it with soap and water or i use alcohol alcohol and a paper towel but it, you know, it will get darker and patina over time. Now, getting to this blade, it is N690 steel. Uh, I would call it a leaf-shaped blade. And it's a, almost a full flat grind. Not quite a full flat grind, but it's a nice tall flat grind, which winds up being very, very slicey. Extremely slicey, especially for how robust it is. Now, mixing this with these ergos now this is not a neutral grip this is more of a, a a knife that forces you into a position and when i talk about a neutral grip i'm talking about you know kind of like a benchmade grip tillion where you can just pick where you want to put your hands you know if you want to scoop back you can you can just basically grip it wherever you want this is not like that um however it is about the same length as a benchmade grip tillion a spider co pm2 and it's about the same thickness as a grip tillion as well so very close to it just to give you an idea of how thick and how long the knife is you know um the Manix 2, the PM2, Benchmade Griptilian, basically the same length as those. But this does force your hand into a couple positions. Either one, you can choke up and use this finger choil right there, or you can go back here, and then in that case, you have this little spot right there, right for your pinky. Extremely comfortable in both grips. If we look at these ergos, you can see this little scoop right here. Now that works out great for your thumb if you're back here, or if you're up here, this spot right here where your hand squeezes, this area right here, really sits nice and comfortably right in that area. And you can just tell by squeezing this that, man, you can get pressure into this knife comfortably. Which, in a lot of cases, you know, if you want a great cutter, having comfort in your push cuts and slicing is just so important. And this one, you know, regardless of the grip, even back here for slicing cuts, however you want to hold it, man, this thing is very comfortable in the, the two positions they give you to hold it. Now, with the geometry it has, this thing slices so good. You can push cut really good. You can slice with it really good. It's basically all belly almost, but you can still use it, you know, perfectly fine for push cuts. And having a tall flat grind like this just makes it very, very capable of good slicing power, good power into the cuts, and just works extremely well. About 18 to 20 thousandths behind the edge, it separates materials like incredibly well. Like just when you're going through materials, um, being 18 to 20 thousandths with such a tall grind, it really just it just separates materials very, very well. And 
you can always lay back your edge angle that'll even give you even better cutting performance with this knife. Now the utility cuts, it does have a nice acute tip especially with this blade shape. This blade shape is just made to do utility cuts. It's kind of the benefit to this blade shape because you can get good slicing, cutting, push cuts, but then also have amazing utility cuts with it. While also being acute, it is nice and durable, nice and tough. Uh, I don't think you'll have to worry about it chipping or breaking. As long as you're not doing anything too crazy with it, it is a very tough tip. So nice, good strength in the tip and the ergos really helps you out for the utility cuts as well nice and comfortable you know this area right back here that really lays into your palm you know you really have um a good position to put leverage down into a you know into something and then pull back through your cut so that's awesome now the action the action the clip or sorry the the flipper tab is quite big, but I personally don't care about that because as long as the flipper action works really good and it's not uncomfortable in my hand, which this one's not, I'm okay with it. Um, I, however, they do have another version, a mini version coming. I don't know how long it'll be till it's out, but they got a mini version coming out with a, a hole in it for reverse flicking, which will be very awesome. I can't wait for that one. I definitely want to get my hands on that, but it is a smaller version, only a three inch blade. Um, the flipper tab though, jimping on the top and it is slick in the back. It's not really built for push cuts, but if you get up here at this angle, when you push cut, or push push button push cut when you push button the flipper tab as long as you get it up here at the angle it works extremely well nice strong detent too mine's broken in um quite well it was even stronger when i first got it but it's still man it's a powerful flip it's hard to fail I mean, it just, it kicks, it does kick. And you have a great uh, place or a great landing for your finger when you do uh, open it up or deploy it. So the action is really good, very powerful action. I love the acoustics. Very, very nice. Now the, the, Lock bar is a liner lock. Nice strong lockup. No play. Any direction. I did hear one person say they had a little bit of detent lash. Mine is solid. Nice strong detent. But yeah, no play. Any direction. Um, good access to the lock bar. Um, it is lined up perfectly on this side, but they, they overcompensated on this side. So you have a lot of room to unlock the lock bar. I really do like that. And the detent is nice and early when you unlock it. You can't because there's a little ball in there that it'll land on if you don't push the lock bar all the way out of the way, which, you know, it lands right there. But you can easily get past it just by pushing in the lock bar, letting it hit your finger, move your finger out of the way. It is fall shut action. Now, when I first got it, it was very drop shutty, but very quickly, very, very quickly, it got fall shut, like within a day or two. Um, so it is complete fall shut action. Stupid, stupid, smooth, nice and centered. Just an amazing, amazing action out of this flipper knife. Um, like I said, the flipper tab is quite big, but it don't bother me. I like it. I think it works out good because the performance of the flipper tab works so good. And it doesn't, you know, hurt me in any way, in any grip. It's still quite comfortable. So we have caged ceramic bearings in the pivot. And then we have a ceramic detent ball for the detent. Now the stop pin is connected to the blade, but it's internal. So there's a track cut out on each side right here. And then the stop pin is connected to the blade. I do really like internal stop pins like this. It keeps the stop pin out of the way, but then also helps for side to side strength, side to side play. And this action on these, on the ceramic bearings is ridiculously smooth. So I really like the way they did the pivot and the stop pin and lock up. Now the clip and carry, the clip is a roach clip. And it's uh, not reversible. 
and it is not inset in the micarta, but it does have flat screws. So it does work great in and out of the pocket. No complaints on how it works or how it performs. However, you know, or not however, it, it does kind of cant to the side. So when it goes in your pocket, it kind of pushes itself into the side of your pocket, which I do really like. So I have no issues carrying it. It is a big knife though. A lot of people, it might be too big for them. It's basically the size of a Mannix. So if you have no problems carrying a Mannix in your pocket, then you won't have any problems with this. A little tiny bit bigger in some areas than the PM2, but not a big deal man this thing carries extreme in my opinion you know i wear jeans so it that's just doesn't bother me I, I like carrying knives like this sometimes sometimes i like smaller knives sometimes i like bigger knives and this happens to be one that carries very well in my opinion some people might think it's a little heavy because it does have some weight to it I, it doesn't bother me not at all um but that's me though so look at the weight and see what the weight is and maybe it might be a little heavy for you i don't know now, sharpening, it is N690. I did not sharpen it. However, I have been keeping it going on my Ruby Stone. Um, I believe I linked these down in the description if you ever want to get them. It's uh, basically, it's a bunch of rubies inside of a, a resin. And it's a 3000 grit stone. So they sell these in all different versions. A lot of times they sell it like this with this white stone in the back. I don't like this stone. It's a 10,000 grit stone. I personally do not like it. Um, it might work well on like kitchen knives and stuff, but this stone is great though. They're only a few bucks, but anyway, so what I've been doing with it is matching up my angle on the stone and then doing one pass per side I'm trying to do this through a camera and you can actually see the the steel particles and i'll do that you know a couple times per side and then i'll strop it and it's been keeping it going quite well but this stone will give you a mirror edge. It can give you a mirror edge. It can uh it also has you know capabilities of cutting pretty good so, you know, I have been using this knife quite a bit. So being able to tune it up and hone it back and keep it going for so long. I mean, that's just, to me, that's a plus. So very, very nicely. It wasn't cutting paper really good before this. So just doing a couple passes on there. It's not the best, but you know, it, it's at that part, it's at that point where it, it, it could use a full sharpening so to be able to do that still just from a couple passes on the ruby stone that's amazing because like i said you know it is about that time um but i like to keep the edge going as long as possible in between sharpenings now t8s all the way around love to see that like i like how there's three points of hardware or three uh, standoffs very durable nice and strong uh you know, build quality. The liners are really nice. I like how the black and black matches really good with the black hardware. It just looks really good. We have T6s on the clip. No shift really on the clip. Maybe a, a little, it's not bad. I mean, I'm cranking on it to do that. So, because we have two screws. So, that's very nice. All in all, man, I love this knife. But let's talk about a couple negatives. Um, before we get into negatives, the sharpening choil, amazing plunge grind. Look at this. The plunge grind starts here, ends right here. Look at all this sharpening we have. We have a lot of life with this knife. This is a knife that will look good for years and years. You can maintain this thing for a very long time. It will look brand new for a very long time. I mean, yeah, your blade might get scratches and wear and stuff. And actually, it's been holding up pretty good. I'm actually pretty surprised how good it's holding up. I mean, I brought this to work like four days, three or four days, and uh, I've been using it a lot around the house. I'm actually pretty surprised how well this is hold up. But because some, some of Kaiser's finishes are, maybe I just wasn't that tough on it. I mean, I wasn't doing uh, like crazy stuff with it. Oh, I did go outside and do some outside stuff with it, so um um some wood stuff um i did uh cardboard cutting straps uh, a bunch of plastic tape um opening things up i did a little bit of food prep in the kitchen uh and then some wood carving out in the woods but 
you know, so so far so good. But I do know though that some of Kaiser's finishes can uh, can come off pretty good. Uh, this one's man, I don't know. Maybe it's a different coating. Anyways, some of the negatives. Let's talk about some of the negatives. Um, I'll be honest, guys. Uh, there's not much here. I mean, one the, the, there was weight relief, right? But they didn't go overboard. And I'm actually kind of happy they didn't go overboard, but some people might say, I wish they would have did more cutouts in here to bring down the weight. I'm personally kind of happy with that because I like having, it's a big knife, right? I want build quality. I want strength in a big knife. I don't want a big knife that feels flimsy. So I'm happy with that. Um, uh, the coating, you know, maybe it might get scratched up through, uh, you know, if you hit staples and stuff. like. Well, it will. If you hit staples or anything like that, the coating will get scratched up. It's just a fact. The clip, same thing, you know, over time, the clip probably will get scratched up. Mine's been pretty good. So that could be a negative to you. But all in all, really, man, I don't really have nothing negative or really bad to say. Normally, I have something to nitpick. But I really don't on this. I mean, you know, I don't want to just fabricate uh, something negative on it because I can't really come up with anything negative. You know, I could say, oh, it's a big knife. Of course, it's a big knife. Oh, it's a, you know, it's a little heavy. Of course, it's a little heavy. It's a big knife, right? So, you know, all in all, man, they, they knocked it out of the park with this. And I'm very, very happy with it. I like it a lot. And yeah. <laughs> it, I, I enjoy carrying it. I enjoy using it. It's just, it's a killer knife. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.